It is said that Apple chose Alibaba, not DeepSeek, as the AI supplier for Chinese products. Apple's first choice for cooperation is Baidu. But Apple engineers found that Baidu's LLM underlying logic is more inclined to search, which is significantly different from GPT. So Apple had to give up the cooperation plan. In addition to Baidu, the only Chinese companies that can provide Apple with high concurrency AI services are ByteDance, Tencent, Huawei, and Alibaba. ByteDance is the parent company of TikTok and is too politically sensitive. Tencent's WeChat once had serious disagreements with Apple on the commission ratio, not to mention WeChat's monopoly in China, which makes Apple shudder. It does not want to rely too much on Tencent. As for Huawei, the primary target of the U.S. government, no U.S. company dares to cooperate with Huawei. Then Alibaba is the only choice left. Fortunately, Alibaba's Q and large model is also open source, and it has long been ranked among the top global AI large models. In fact, when Apple and Alibaba were discussing cooperation, DeepSeek had already released version V2 and attracted the attention of the AI industry. But what Apple needs is a large partner with a large scale, rich talent pool and no financial pressure, so DeepSeek was not considered. When DeepSeek V3 and R1 were released one after another, the global AI ecosystem was detonated. But even so, DeepSeek is still a very small startup. It can't even support the sudden increase in user visits and has closed the API recharge entrance. Even if Apple is willing to cooperate with DeepSeek, DeepSeek cannot allocate enough personnel to cooperate with Apple's development. In addition, with the computing resources DeepSeek has, it cannot stably support Apple's huge number of users. Even if DeepSeek gets a lot of investment and buys servers and GPUs from now on, it can't keep up with Apple's research and development. In China, the sales of AI mobile phones are rapidly increasing and Apple has not provided inside AI services to Chinese users because AI supplier OpenAI cannot provide services in China. Apple's mobile phone sales in China lag behind Vivo. More importantly, Huawei, which was sanctioned by the US government, successfully revived in the Chinese market in 2024, with sales exceeding Apple. And Huawei's growth trend is very obvious, while Apple is relatively weak. There are also world-class brands such as Xiaomi, Oppo, and Honor in the Chinese market, and the competition is very fierce. China is also the market with the highest sales volume of mobile phones in the world. The performance in the Chinese market will largely reflect the competitiveness of a company's products. In the past, iPhone has always led the trend with its powerful chip computing power and excellent product innovation. The stability, Smoothness and high efficiency of the iOS system have always been better than Android. However, with the retirement of time, Android phones have gradually narrowed the software gap with Apple and surpassed Apple in hardware innovation. iPhone has not made major innovations in hardware, which is largely attributed to Apple's big company disease. In addition, Apple has not only stagnated in hardware innovation in the mobile phone field, but also abandoned the smart car business and the VR and AR businesses that have invested heavily are also in trouble. When the AI big model broke out, Apple, which has the world's strongest chip design capabilities, did not occupy a favorable position in the AI blowout, and completely missed the most important innovation direction at the moment. It can only choose to cooperate with OpenAI and call the GPT interface to provide AI services for Apple products. But we know that GPT is a closed source big model, and it is not cheap. OpenAI needs to call on a large number of engineers to cooperate with Apple's development, and naturally it will charge a high fee. The emergence of DeepSeek has put Apple in a very embarrassing situation. Chinese mobile phone and other smart hardware companies can carry DeepSeek services at a cost far lower than GPT. Although Apple is rich, it also needs to find a cost-effective service provider. In this context, Alibaba and its Qin large model have entered Apple's vision. As mentioned earlier, Q1 is not only open source, but its latest version 2.5 has the same performance as DeepSeek. And Alibaba's engineering team is one of the largest in China. 
Alibaba not only has rich experience in developing from the server to the client and even operating systems, it is also the world's top cloud service provider with rich hardware reserves. Moreover, Alibaba has been competing hard and has entered a trough stage in the days when it lost Jack Ma. Now Jack Ma has a strong signal of returning and needs timely help. Apple's choice of Alibaba as a partner at this time is the choice that maximizes the interests of both parties. Alibaba will attach great importance to the opportunity given by Apple and complete the cooperative research and development with Apple in a short period of time, so that Apple can carry Alibaba's AI big model on its new mobile phone this year, providing powerful inside and cloud AI services. Now, Alibaba has a big customer like Apple, which can ensure a firm foothold in the fierce competition of AI big models in China. In the future, China is likely to form a situation where DeepSeek, Alibaba, and ByteDance are three strong players, and other AI big models may gradually be marginalized or turned to professional fields. For DeepSeek, Apple could not have been its customer. Alibaba's Q1 is not inferior to it in performance and openness, which is also a huge challenge for it. After all, Alibaba has been one of China's technology giants for many years, with a huge team of talents, market, and government resources. Liang Wenfeng has always been obsessed with technology and is not interested in financing. Perhaps this incident can sound the alarm for DeepSeek. The market will not wait for any company to grow and opportunities are fleeting. Facing Alibaba's open-source Q1 and ByteDance closed-source Doubao, DeepSeek is not necessarily going to become the leader of China's AI industry. After all, the competition has just begun, and there is still a long way to go. But we don't have to be pessimistic about DeepSeek's future. In less than two years, it has developed into a heavyweight player that changes the AI ecosystem and has gained popularity. Now, from investment funds to governments at all levels and state-owned capital in China, there is a huge interest in DeepSeek. Chinese hardware giants such as Huawei and BYD are also positive about DeepSeek and have a strong intention to cooperate. Under the premise that the company's scale cannot be expanded rapidly, it is necessary to continue the iteration of LLM and carefully select partners to open up new profit channels. As for some customers that cannot be digested, DeepSeek does not have to regret it. Since it has chosen open source, naturally other companies will use DeepSeek's open source model to build their own computing power and digest the excess customers. In any case, it is always a good thing for the Chinese AI market to have more strong competitors. Facts have proved that many industries in China, such as communication equipment, electric vehicles, power batteries, photovoltaics, etc., have grown rapidly and swept the world in a life-and-death competitive atmosphere.